Hello everybody and Merry Christmas. So part of Christmas is buying gifts for your favorite dog trainer or handler. I get asked a lot because I do so many videos and I talk about using videos for your canine training. I figured I'd share some of the things that I've gone through and some of the products that I use and what I feel might work best for you. This is just my opinion. I think depending on your need will be what you guys go with. So I'll just start with the normal popular one, which is our GoPro Hero 11. This is the newest GoPro out there. GoPro Hero 11 is a camera that's been around. Uh, it's brand new, came out in October, but GoPro is a brand that's been around for quite some time. So the GoPro has now the screen up front since basically the Hero 9. Hero 9, 10, and 11 are all the exact same form factor. Basically do the same thing, but the GoPro 11 has a much better sensor for getting your videos and colors and things like that. It is the same, like I said, form factor. The only thing different is it says 11 instead of 10 and 9, but the internals is what's different. So you got a screen up front, a screen in the back, and it's straightforward how, it, how you use it. Uh, record button up here, mode button, it does photos, does video, does everything. The cool thing is at the bottom is where you have your little uh, feet that you connect to all your typical GoPro devices. Those are right there. This is, it's nice that they fold away, but it also is what you're going to use to connect to all the different GoPro accessories that make your camera work. So one of the first accessories I like to use is the GoPro Hero, or the GoPro Hero mod. The, uh, the video mod. So this is like a cage. This cage basically plugs right in. The camera goes right inside there and it connects. But what this does is allows you to then use a bunch of different attachments. So it has a better microphone. Uh, you can actually attach a light to the top of it. The light can go on and off. So what we can do, take that right off. It just goes into a cold shoe mount there and a cold shoe mount on the side. You can also use ex uh, external microphones if you want to, um, but I like the media mod cage that I put on here because it just gives you more attachments. Uh, also on the back, you have USB-C, you, you can charge it that way. You got your audio jack for your microphones, and then you've also got the uh, uh, micro uh, USB, so right there. So all of those things, this is the GoPro Hero 11. Now, again, the attachments is where it's at. So the attachments, for this, one of the ones that I like is called snap mount. Snap mount is a magnetic mount that actually fits. Now this isn't the exact mount for what I have on here for the media mod, but it still works. The typical GoPro without the media mod on there is what you'd fit to this exact mount, but it still works. They actually make a mount now, snap mount does, that will actually work within that. So you just put this in there like so. Typical thumb screw to screw on, just like this, tighten it down. But once it's on there, then the fun thing you get to do is put on the different attachments. And now it's going on and off a whole lot faster than trying to thumb screw everything on. So this is a typical GoPro tripod. This is kind of like a selfie stick, it extends out, very easy to use, but I can also set it up when I'm doing training in my in the field areas. I can just set it up like so, stick my GoPro right on there, and then we're set. So that's just a nice, easy way to go do that. Again, I can take that off. I don't have to use this if I didn't want to. Put that down. Oh wait, but what if I wanted to do the typical GoPro chest piece? I can put that on. Magnet, times right off. Faster than doing the thumb screw. You can do the thumb screw if you want to, but that's another one. What you can also do with this, which comes with the snap mounts, is the snap mount lanyard. So what I can do is I can just put this over my neck. It's nice because it gives you this little tension right here. You can change this <laughs> that quickly. Grab the <laughs> grab the camera that fast. So, but what you can do is I could put this over my neck. I can, I was gonna put it over my shirt first, but I can put it under my shirt. This would actually be under the shirt. And then 
you can wear it on your chest like so, under your shirt. And again, it's another way besides the GoPro chest mount that you can use this device. So snap mounts, again, are super awesome. They work with all the different cameras I'm gonna talk about here. Also with GoPro comes their little battery pack tripod or a little, um, what you can do with this is just kick out the little feet, like so, put it out there. You have your GoPro on there. You can connect your GoPro like a typical, you can put the, the mount on here if I want to put that up there. And we are set. And then what's nice about this is this little USB-C plug will plug in the back of the GoPro right here. And then now my GoPro can be charging from here and from the battery on there. The average life of a GoPro battery, which is their new Enduro battery, depending on how much you're using it and the frame rate and so forth that you're going to shoot in will dictate the battery. But I get on average 20, 30 minutes of battery life with uh, these batteries, sometimes longer than that, just depends on what we're doing. I always have extra batteries. That's a, a purchase I would say is get extra batteries, a little battery charger, or have this handle that has a battery pack built into it. All of this really is helpful for utilizing your GoPro products. So that way you guys can get the most out of it. But this is really good for dog trainers. The quality of the images are amazing. I'll have links down in the description of other YouTubers who talk about these products and can give you even more detailed information. But I do really like the GoPro camera, utilizing it for my training and also utilizing it for as a handler from that point of view as well. So really fun, good product to use the GoPro. Another little GoPro attachment is this magnetic clip, which is really nice about that magnetic clip is I can put it on a dog harness. It's magnetic here, so it'll stick to anything with magnet. Just like these, what was good about the snap mounts is with a snap mount, I can also put this, if I had this off, under a dog's harness, click, and it's in the dog harness, and I got a good another point of view that we can use for training. So whether it be snap mount or GoPro's magnetic clip mount, these are all great products to use with the GoPro items. Now on to the next newest camera that's out there is the DJI Osmo Action 3. That is this camera right here. The DJI Osmo Action 3 is a lot like a GoPro, does many things like a GoPro. It has its own little cage. Its front screen is also touchscreen, like the back is also touchscreen. The GoPro, the front screen is just to show you what the camera's doing but with the DJI Osmo Action 3, the front screen is also active. You can touch it, change things, do whatever, which is pretty handy to do when you're utilizing that. So the back of it is this. What's really cool about the DJI models is this actually has multiple microphones built in it. And if you can probably see in the front right there, in the, right in the letters, there's a little small hole. That's another microphone right in there. What's really cool about DJI is they've come up with a lot of ways to make this very useful for you. So those snap mounts I showed you with GoPro, and those snap mounts will work with this too, but built in with DJI is these little foot grabbers right here because they make an attachment that allows you to connect right to this by magnet and clip. So it just goes right in, I should put it the right way, and just like that. Goes on nice and easy, take it, bring it up, clips right in, it's solid, it's not going anywhere. You can shake this thing and it's not going anywhere. That's super convenient. You just pinch it, it comes right off. What's also cool is if you wanna shoot in nine by 16 for your TikTok and Instagram people, same thing, goes on just like that. Really cool, really easy to use. I really like it. The DJI makes this really user-friendly. Again, really great video quality. You're gonna hear from some YouTubers if you follow some of the links here, when these first came out, they struggled with some of the focusing issues. But as of about three days ago, a new firmware update came out. It fixed all that and it added another layer of amazing quality and color for the camera. I mean, you're gonna be hard pressed to tell a difference in most cases between a GoPro footage and a DJI Osmo Action 3 footage. Um, really good, same thing, USB-C, on the side so you can charge it that way. Again, super convenient to go in, utilize that quick and easy for connecting to, whether it be a tripod like this one right here. That's also a little extending selfie stick. So again, in my training areas, super convenient to set this up, take it down. 
I want to switch it over to, let's say, a chest rig where I can put it on. I just click it right in, fast, easy. DJI's app is also very easy, the DJI Mimo app, whether you're Android or Apple, iOS. DJI Mimo app connects the camera right away. You can download your footage right from this to directly to your uh, phone, which is super great. Same with the GoPro. GoPro has the DJ or GoPro has the Quick app. Quick app. It also downloads all the footage. You can watch from your phone what's on the camera. Again, a lot of cool little features you can use. What I for, uh, what I can also mention with the DJ Osmo Action 3, when you buy this, it comes with a battery pack that holds extra batteries and charges them independently without, so you can charge up the pack, the pack charges the batteries automatically. So if you're out recording and your battery goes low, change out the batteries. That's a super convenient factor that GoPro doesn't have. I wish GoPro did. Uh, GoPro, you gotta pull out the battery, you change out the battery, make sure your batteries are charged before you leave. This little pack that comes with DJI Osmo Action 3 is a huge benefit to be able to utilize, get the camera and extra battery packs, all portable, just recharge, just load this up with, with battery power. All your batteries are charged up, you'll have batteries for days. So, going from the DJI Osmo Action 3 to the DJI Osmo Action 2, which is this tiny little camera right here. It's also got a screen on the back, so you can see what you're getting your footage from. But what's also really nice is it has magnetic attachments too. This is a little battery pack. The battery on this is gonna be a lot shorter. You're talking 15, 20 minutes with a lot of use, with like being on nonstop, shooting in 4K. If you shoot in 1080, which is a, frame, which is a quality level, if you're shooting in 1080, it'll last you a bit longer, but shooting in 4K, you'll burn through a little bit faster. But don't worry, the little battery pack connects right on, just like the mounts for the Action 3. Now I have even more power, but hey, wait, what if I want to film and I want to see what's on there without having to walk around all the time? Oh, no problem. DJI came up with this. Now the screen faces this way. So you have a screen attachment, connects, and there you go. So now you can see what's there from right there or back there. This also gives you more battery and allows you to put in more memory. You have a, a SD card, micro SD card slot right there that'll take that memory card, I believe up to 5, 12 uh, uh, gigabytes. So that's a lot of memory on there. All of these cameras that I'm gonna show you all work off of an SD card. This has internal memory as well. So remember, anything you're buying, you're also gonna buy an internal memory card, which is gonna be a micro SD card of whatever size that you pick. So this is super handy because I like to put this in hides. It's so small. I can put it in a little hide location. Dogs come up, sniff it. It's really cool, great little tool. They also sell the same thing. They have a little lanyard you can wear around your neck, and then lo and behold, that would clip right into it from, the, from your shirt side, and you can also do it that way. So this is the DJI, DJI Osmo Action 2. All right, now we went from the Osmo Action 3, the Osmo Action 2, to now 360 cameras. 360 cameras, this is the brand new Insta360 camera. This has basically uh, almost 200 degree field of view from this, this camera and that camera. So you're getting overlapping footage, so it gives you a nice spherical 360 view. Having this screen on the back is huge. It's so nice to be able to see what it is you're filming and the quality of the image is amazing on this camera. You can shoot from either this camera if you wanted to, or this camera back here if you wanted to. You can do one camera at a time, or for 360, it uses both cameras. What's really cool is when you attach this to any one of the different uh, selfie sticks. I was gonna put one on here, but I don't have the cage on it. But you put this onto a selfie stick, it cuts out the selfie stick, which is really cool in your footage. The Insta360 app, again, works on Android and or Apple. And what this allows you to do is download the footage. And what's awesome is, as you want to edit it on your phone really easily, you just keep turning the camera on the, on the screen where you want your footage to be facing, and it allows you to take 360 footage, and it looks like you had multiple cameras following you. Sometimes it looks like you had a drone following you. What I like about this for canine training is I can put this in one spot and get the entire search area at one time. I don't have to have multiple cameras if I don't want to. 
So you can use this as an action camera, you can use it as a 360 camera. This is all great to use for canine training. So Insta360 X3 for your 360 footage. One last one is the GoPro Max, is GoPro's version of a 360 camera. This has been out for a few years. This is, I believe, is three years old now. They haven't done any updates to it. Same thing, has the GoPro mounts on the bottom, connects to the GoPro app, the quick app that you can put on your phone, download the footage, micro SD card on the inside, rechargeable batteries. This is, again, a great 360 camera. It's so good, it's been around, like I said, for three years and they haven't had to update it. But if you ask me my opinion, I would go with the Insta360 as my 360 camera. If you want a small action camera that's fairly inexpensive, a few hundred dollars, uh, the DJI Osmo Action 2 is a great choice. If you're gonna go up another level to about, I think this is about 300 some odd dollars, depends on what the sale is these days, but you'll get the battery pack and an action camera together for cheaper than the GoPro Hero 11, which comes with one battery the camera and that's it. You'd have to buy the, the medium mod is an extra piece like I was talking about earlier. All of these other attachments are extra. So again, I'm a nerd, I'm a tech geek, which is why I have all of this stuff. I have all this stuff for all of you guys when I do my videos that I share with all of you. These are all the tools that I use. If you are thinking about buying a gift for your favorite dog handler or trainer, any one of these cameras are really good and like I said, all the reviews will be posted down below, allow you to go hear what other YouTubers say, go look them up on Amazon, buy somebody a really cool camera that they can use for their training in the coming year of 2023. If you guys have any questions as usual, hit me up, I'm happy to answer them. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one.